When you see a squadron of fighter jets slicing through the sky, weaving in tight, perfect patterns, it's hard not to be impressed. There's something breathtaking about their precision. Jets flying just meters apart at hundreds of miles per hour, moving as if they're connected by invisible strings. But behind the stunning visuals lies a deep purpose. Flying in formation isn't just for show. It's a vital part of aerial combat, communication, efficiency, and survival. So why do fighter jets fly in formation? Let's dive into the fascinating blend of strategy, physics, and teamwork that makes formation flying one of the most important skills in military aviation. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. To begin with, formation flying started long before the jet age. Back in World War I, pilots realized that flying solo made them easy targets. The earliest aircraft were slow, fragile, and had poor visibility. So spotting an enemy before being spotted was half the battle. Pilots began teaming up, watching each other's backs in simple formations. By World War II, formation flying evolved into an essential combat tactic. Famous formations like the Finger Four emerged, named because it looked like the position of your fingers when you slightly spread them. This layout gave pilots both visibility and flexibility, allowing them to support one another during dogfights. Those principles still influence how modern jets fly together today. One of the main reasons fighter jets fly in formation is mutual protection. A single jet has limited visibility. There are blind spots to the sides, behind, and even below. When pilots fly together, they can cover each other's weaknesses. Think of it like a pack of wolves. Each one keeps an eye on a different direction, so no threat goes unseen. In combat, this means one jet can focus on the mission ahead, while others scan for enemy aircraft or surface-to-air missiles. If a threat appears, Pilots can warn each other instantly through radio or visual cues. This teamwork can be the difference between life and death in hostile airspace. Another crucial factor is coordination and communication. In modern air operations, missions are rarely carried out by a single aircraft. Whether it's air superiority, ground attack, or escort missions, jets have to work as a unit. Formation flying helps maintain that unity. When aircraft stay in formation, they remain within line of sight, which simplifies coordination and reduces radio chatter. Instead of constantly relaying positions over the radio, pilots can predict each other's moves visually. This kind of unspoken communication based on trust and training, keeps missions smooth and efficient, even under heavy stress or in radio silent operations. Formation flying also offers tactical advantages. The spacing, angles, and structure of a formation are not random. They're calculated based on the mission and threat environment. For instance, in a combat spread, jets fly further apart, about a mile or more, to maximize their radar coverage and minimize the chance of being hit by a single missile. In contrast, during refueling or escort missions, they fly much closer together. Tight formations like the wedge or trail allow jets to move quickly as a group while remaining ready to split apart if needed. These formations can shift in seconds depending on the threat, showing just how adaptable and dynamic formation flying really is. Beyond tactics, formation flying also improves fuel efficiency. It may sound surprising, but when jets fly in close formation, especially in precise aerodynamic positions, they can take advantage of the airflow created by the lead aircraft. This effect is similar to how geese fly in a V-shaped pattern during migration. The trailing birds use less energy by gliding in the upwash from the bird in front of them. For fighter jets, 
The savings are smaller but still meaningful, particularly during long-range flights. In some cases, tight formation flying can reduce fuel consumption by several percent, enough to make a difference during extended missions, where every drop counts. There's also a psychological and symbolic side to formation flying. When air forces perform flyovers or air shows, those perfectly aligned jets represent discipline, precision, and teamwork. These displays aren't just about dazzling spectators, they're demonstrations of military capability and cohesion. Formation flights during ceremonies or national events symbolize unity and strength both for the pilots in the cockpit and for the people watching below. Every maneuver, every synchronized turn, is a testament to the countless hours of training and the trust between pilots. Speaking of training, mastering formation flying is one of the most demanding skills in a pilot's career. It takes months sometimes years to develop the ability to fly within a few feet of another aircraft at high speeds. Pilots learn to read subtle cues, the position of the lead jet's wings, the angle of its tail, even how sunlight reflects off its surface. They make constant micro-adjustments to throttle, pitch, and roll, all while maintaining situational awareness. It's an intense dance of coordination and precision. Any mistake, even a small one, could be catastrophic. That's why formation flying drills are repeated endlessly in flight schools and combat training programs worldwide. In the end, formation flying is much more than just synchronized motion in the sky. It's a core element of air combat doctrine, a combination of science, strategy, and skill. It enhances defense, optimizes communication, improves fuel efficiency, and strengthens unity among pilots. Whether they're soaring in perfect symmetry during an air show or moving stealthily through enemy territory, those sleek formations represent one thing above all, the power of teamwork at 30,000 feet. So the next time you see fighter jets streaking across the sky in flawless formation, remember, every move, every angle, every turn, is carefully calculated. It's not just about looking cool. It's about surviving, succeeding, and symbolizing the extraordinary precision of modern aviation. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.